Hey there, Sag. Welcome to your June reading. So today we're taking a look at a connection that you're dealing with, okay, specifically your person. So we're going to start with a little overall energy for the connection, but then we're going to look at your person's feelings, intentions, and, you know, everything in between. So if this resonates, please smash the like button for me, subscribe if you haven't already, comment, share, anything you could do to support this channel. It's really appreciated. And uh, if it doesn't resonate, you can definitely check your other placements, all right? But today we have an extended for this video. So if you're interested in that, we're going to look at any zodiac signs that shows up and get some more advice and potential outcome timing um, for that. Okay, so if you're interested, the link is going to be down below as well as for a private reading. And you can also check my Instagram. Okay, by the way, if you're dealing with a twin flame, now we have a... Um, membership around Twin Flames with exclusive Twin Flame ratings. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we have stay optimistic about your love life, trust, surrender, and extremes. Honestly, I kind of feel... <sighs> yeah, okay, so this clarifies. I wasn't really sure, but this clarifies it. Release your ex, and here I feel like it's released this person, because I was seeing a ship sailing, and it wasn't really a ship arriving. It was a ship leaving. I kind of feel like this person, they're not there yet anymore. I, I really feel like they're not. And honestly, I feel like there is something so much better. Because with this stay optimistic about your love life, trust, surrender. It's like, and I mean, with the extremes, you see, this is the hot moon. I think things are about to get hot here, okay? With someone new. Honestly, I don't I don't really think I don't really think this is it, Satch. God, I hate this type of readings. Ugh. And if you've been following me, you you know I am usually quite positive and I you know, but when when it's not that, it's it's not. I really, but I, again, I really have this feeling that something so good is about to arrive. I really have that feeling. Okay. Justice, maybe a Libra. I'm also hearing karma. <laughs> so maybe this person hurt you. Um, and maybe justice is coming in. But let's see what we have here for you. So for Saj, what do we have? So overall energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles. It's really time for you to be on your own vibe. Because honestly, I kind of feel like with this Five of Swords here, Three of Swords, I really feel like this person really hurt you. And they were probably really toxic. Honestly, they probably are still very toxic. And you deserve so much more than that. Okay? Their current energy, we have the Eight of Wands. How they see you, we have the star. Let's see, we have world, ace of pentacles. Saj, don't fall for it. Please don't fall for it. Like, the worst card to have in a person's intentions is the knight of wands. Knight of wands in their intentions. I really feel like this person may actually start to, may actually come back around, especially with this Mercury retrograde, sometimes reconciliations happen. When that happens, when someone from the past shows up in Mercury retrograde, sure, that's lovely. If you want it, you want it. Be sure that Mercury retrograde ends to see if that is actually truthful. Because I kind of feel like this person is going to come back and it's going to be like, oh, you know, I'm going to give you the world. I really appreciate you. I really want to try things again. I'm so mature right now. I really want to make this work. And then after Mercury retrograde is over, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm good. And they just walk out. And I kind of feel like it could be what's happening here. This person could actually be coming back around with some sort of conversation like that, don't fall for it. Besides that, how do you see the relationship? World, it's over, okay? I honestly feel like if they are not already talking with someone else, they may come back to talk to you for sex. I'm sorry to be so blunt. I'm sorry to put it that way, but it's, it's, it's what it is, okay? I'm really sorry, but man, really... And I mean, you deserve so much better. 
Because besides that, with the star, this but this is how this person sees you. With the star here, they see you as someone so beautiful, full of light, full of dreams and expectations and, I don't know, with such a pure energy. And the thing is, I feel like they don't know how to match that. I feel like they don't know how to live up to that. Okay? Let's clarify here some stuff. Even though I feel like this is pretty, pretty clear. But <clears throat> let me see that eight of wands. Not. <laughs> I feel like maybe not. All right. Can we? Okay. Thank you. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, High Priestess. Um, also, oof. Six of Wands, Devil. With the Six of Wands here, I do feel like they are taking care of themselves. I do feel like they are nurturing themselves, you know, looking out for them and everything. And they are trying to create a new life for them and everything. But I feel like when they come back around to you, it's in a place of... I know I still have it. It's more around proving something to themselves than actually being honest about their feelings and actually being honest about this, okay? And I kind of feel like they... Man, Taj, be careful. Just be careful. I really have a bad feeling about this. They could even already be talking to a Pisces or something. Okay. Let me see here. The Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Alright. I'm not even going to clarify anything else. In their feelings, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Not a single cup. Not Cups are about emotions, are about feelings. Not a single one of them. You have the Five of Swords. That's about deception and manipulation. Saj, move out of this. Move on. Ship your sail. Sh ship your sail. Just move on. <laughs> I don't know. Just move on. This this is not for you. This is not for you. Okay? And I'm even going to grab a new deck because I feel like you deserve to know what is coming forward. Okay? Okay. What can you tell us about the person coming in? Whew, gosh, that's a lot, but okay. So we have the Ace of Cups, brand new love, okay? And I feel like it's pure love. Oh, look what's behind it. Lovers, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Fool. Beautiful connection, okay? With a lot of like, this person appreciates you for who you are. This person sees you has a wish fulfilled. It's not afraid of taking a leap of faith. And even here, I kind of feel like they could be going through some sort of similar situation. Maybe you could eventually be dealing in the near future with the cancer. Um, where you see them walking away from this devil, from the snake. I feel like they could be walking away from a toxic situation as well. Okay? But we have here temperance, strength, justice. My God, just look at this. Just look at this. Like, you had pretty, you have the Eight of Wands, you have the Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Sure, you have the world, but it's not really about them. It's this minor arcana, it's more about them. When you talk about this new person, look at all this beautiful major arcana. Like, out of six cards, five are major arcana. Major arcana, it's really powerful energy. It's high vibe energy, okay? It's life-changing stuff this person is a very low vibration person you deserve someone high vibe with the two of cups this this new person is ready to give you love i feel like they are very powerful i feel like they had to um specifically in career i'm getting um and specifically if if this is a woman that's interesting um so they may actually that may actually be very specific but i feel like this person had to push a lot of boundaries, push a lot of stuff to be where they are today, and it wasn't really easy for them to do that. They had to climb a lot of difficult ladders, but they, they did it, and I feel like now they are in this place of power, 
and they know what they want, they go get it. This could even be a same-sex relationship. I do feel like that is very specific, but that is coming through. Um, but this person is not afraid of being vulnerable. This person is not afraid to show emo of to show emotion. This person is not afraid to you know just be themselves and respect others around them. This person that you're here watching this video about, this person is a player. This person does not have your best interest in heart. Okay? I'm so, I'm really sorry to put it that way, but God, Saj, I really feel like you need to hear that. Okay? Let's see here. Let's put some advice. Um, a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah. A personal issue reaches resolution and we have show the world the real you. You deserve to be respected for who you are. You deserve to be respected for you. You deserve love. You deserve the best. And this person right here is not giving you. This new person can give you that. And that new cycle is coming forward. Okay? So before you go, let's pull here some more cards. Oh my god. I cannot. Okay. We'll talk about it. We have honey, uh, honeymoon, we have wedding, we have chemistry. This is already pretty big, right? I mean, you're walking, this new connection is the person you're going to marry, is the person you're going to have kids with if you choose to have that. Um, this person is a dream fulfilled. This person is the, the, the person. This could be the one, okay? That's why you need to let this go. That's why this is not for you. That's why you just, this person shows up around and you're like, okay, screw you, bye, thanks, nice to meet you. And you walk away. This, the one, is coming in. All right? So, Saj, in the extended, I am not going to look into this person. This person, we, we, we are not going to give them attention. Okay, we're moving on, we're saying bye, and we're focusing on this new person. So in the, in the extended, um, I'm not going to look into any specific zodiac sign, because uh, you most likely haven't met this person yet, uh, but we are going to look at timing, we are going to look at some traits from this person, okay? We are going to, um, I don't know, just pull some things. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, the link is going to be in the description box below. If you're interested in a private rating, the link is going to be there as well. If this resonated, don't forget to smash the like button to subscribe if you haven't already. Honey, the one is coming in, okay? So, rise up, chin up, get up, move, all right? I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.